The city of Santa Rosa is declaring Monday the official start of its wildfire season, and the fire department is doing everything it can to prepare. Andrea Nakano went up to the North Bay and spoke to a woman who already lost everything. She is bracing herself once again. The rain we had this winter has led to greener hillsides, but a lot of it is already turning brown. Many residents say the rain has actually fueled their fear for another busy fire season. What woke me up was the lights in our bedroom flashing red. So I looked out the window and I heard, what were they saying? Go, go, go. Wink Grellis lost her home in the Tubbs fire in 2017. He left um, with just, well, different dogs, but two dogs and the clothes on our backs. Grellis has rebuilt and says the fire created teachable moments for her. She has placed three feet of gravel around her home for it to become ember resistant. She's also not letting her guard down after going through an extremely wet winter. It's going to make it worse because there's more vegetation to burn. Absolutely. The Santa Rosa Fire Department says it is seeing the grasses on the hillside drying out quickly. So it will declare the start to fire season on Monday to be able to enforce weed abatement ordinances. You look at what's happened here locally where we've had the tubs, the nuns, the Kincaid and the glass fire. That's four fires that we've either been directly impacted by or threatened by. And that's really uh, made an impact on our community and we're definitely see our community doing things a lot differently. Lowenthal adds the community's help has made a huge difference in being able to get a handle on blazes quickly. He says that work will be critical this summer. We don't want people to let their guard down thinking that because we had all the rain that we're we're going to be better off this year. Yes, there's the it definitely helped. But like I said, the the quick moving grass fires, I think, are what's going to be uh, the, the biggest concern this year. Along with doing the work on the ground, Grellis has another piece of advice for her neighbors. Pay attention to the weather, be, be registered for all the sites that put out information and um, just be aware. Fire officials also remind residents to have an evacuation plan and a to-go bag ready with all your medications and documents.